I would pop on and talk about a little mindset skill that I have learned through being a mom and I'm not gonna read comments so I'm gonna just keep my eyes in the road don't worry um, and this is just I just had a really deep conversation with someone in my family who suffers with depression a lot and has for many years and like the biggest overriding thing over and over and over that comes is like how he how he the tone in which he talks to himself so here's an example instead of saying like most of us were taught to do because our parents did this to us or people in society when we were little kids of this so they say what's wrong with you how many raise a hand if that if it, uh, your parents said that to you when you were a kid at some point what's wrong with you what are you doing why do you do that what are you thinking right and so one of the patterns that he has is he'll say that to himself as an adult what's what is wrong with me right and one thing that I have learned imagine you got a little kid if you're a parent you definitely know this if you go up to your kid and they're struggling with something or they did something bad or something naughty you go up to them and you say what's wrong with you what are you gonna get from them you're gonna get shut down you're gonna get victimization stories blame and they're not going to tell you, do you want to, what, what if you were struggling and crying right now over something you were legitimately struggling with and somebody came up to you and said, what is wrong with you? Are you going to open up and tell them about all your stuff? Probably not. But that's how we relate to ourselves. And I actually think this is why we suck. We suck at solving our own problems so much. And we're looking at for all these external outside voices to solve our problems for us with our health, with our mindset, with our professional life, all this stuff. Because we suck at hearing our own selves because we come at ourselves with this super harsh energy of abuse. What's wrong with you? Get your crap together. Oh my gosh, just do it. But instead of coming in with softness and kindness and gentleness and saying, actually, what's wrong? And I actually think a lot of us like cannot hear if you're one of those people that kind of goes blank and numb and like don't have no idea what you're feeling when you're feeling crappy, probably because you've been talking to your inner child or your inner self so cruelly so, with so much such a mean energy and then you don't show up for them ever. You just insult, insult, insult and then don't show up and don't listen and are not empathetic and just tell them to get their bootstraps pulled up and just blah, blah, blah. They don't trust you. Your inner child doesn't trust you anymore when you talk to yourself like that. And so instead, what I have learned as a mom, if one of my kids is upset or struggling, instead of invalidating them, telling them they shouldn't feel that way, blah, 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 giving them this big lecture, I legitimately just am curious and ask with an open mind, what is wrong in a kind, gentle way? Hey, what's wrong? And guess what happens when you ask like that? You get answers. And I, I truly, so strongly, the reason I came on here, I was really enjoying my little sunset drive with my cool spiritual music, but I popped on here because I felt compelled to share that if you are not having a gentle energy towards yourself, I was like, this is the difference. That is, that is, the, that I, that is what I've learned. That is the difference and how I am relating with myself that is helping me to feel happier it doesn't mean I feel happy all the time it just means when I am feeling sad or upset or angry I come in with gentle energy and genuinely am curious what's wrong and then I answer because it's safe with me to process that in a healthy safe space and it's like I feel like this and I don't try to change it I don't try to mindset it I don't try to do anything I'm just like oh okay noted I hear you me I hear my inner child I hear myself and then I show up for her so that if you're like somebody who feels like you're like constantly failing or you know depressed a lot really hard on yourself you will find solutions to the issues that you're having so much so, with so much more ease if you will start to genuinely listen to yourself because all shame, guilt, fear, anger, all of these things that we're feeling are trying to talk to us. It's try our, we have emotions for a reason. It's ourselves trying to communicate with ourselves that something's wrong. But if we constantly invalidate it, try to shove it away, judge ourselves for even feeling that way, we shut down, we get no answers. 
So my quick little message here, just popping on is when you are not feeling awesome, when you are struggling, when you are not getting solutions to something in your life, try coming at it with a, a genuine, gentle, soft energy of like, Hey dude, what's, what's, what's going on? And just hold space for yourself and let yourself freaking feel how you feel and be curious and be empathetic. Like, Oh, okay. And then that's it. It's like session one, just freaking listen. And then as time goes on, you can start to be like, well, have you considered this? And if your inner child don't like that, just back the freak off. Because if you meet up at an ego too hard, this is something I've definitely learned in mindset coaching. If I meet up with somebody's ego too hard, and what I mean by ego is self-protection, it's, it's back off time. They're not ready for that yet. I got to ease into it a little bit more. And if we're the same way, if we're, it's like, no, I need to be validated. I need to be angry. I need to be, you know, jealous or blah, blah, blah. It's like, be gentle with yourself. It's like, okay, okay. And just observe, listen, be kind and gentle. And finally, if you will just do that enough with yourself, you will build a safe enough relationship with yourself in which you, it's safe to talk about what's actually wrong with yourself. That to me, like it's brutal, man. It's just once you're on the other side of these behaviors, for the most part, I'm not saying I don't ever, you know, <laughs> have anything going on, but once you're pretty much in a place where you relate to yourself kindly and gently and in a supportive energy and you listen and you show up for yourself, it's freaking heartbreaking how much you see, like how problematic this is in the world, how like heartbreakingly cruel most people are to themselves. So if it's pick one area in your life that you're like struggling with one area and just try just putting your hands in your heart and saying, Hey dude, what's wrong? What's going on? And just freaking listen, just shut up. Don't try to fix it. Don't try to tell your, your inner child or whatever that you're fine. Don't do that. They're not fine. They're upset. They're angry. They're jealous. They're mad. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And just ask questions and just hear them. And that's it. And be gentle with it and be like, okay, I hear you. That's all. Start there. And then as time goes on, it, once you, your inner child feels safe with you, that you're just going to listen and you're not going to like try to change everything and invalidate them, they'll start opening up more. And this is exactly the lessons I've learned from having four kids is like, if I sit there and try to fix everything and validate their feelings, tell them they were okay when they're not, I have no genuine interest in actually understanding what they're trying to tell me. I'm just like, yeah, 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 let me just fix the problem real quick. They're not, they don't open up to me anymore. They don't trust me. Cause who would you? I'm like, Hey, let's see. I'm parked now. Hey, Brie, Brie, what is the matter with you? How come you haven't blah, blah, blah. Would you want to talk to me about anything? No. But that's how most people relate to themselves is this super harsh energy and then totally invalidating feelings. So that's, I was like, damn, no wonder so many people are depressed. I'm not saying that's the only reason, but if you're sitting there beating yourself down constantly of what's wrong with you, blah, 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 you should have blah, 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 blah. And like never, ever holding space for yourself to just feel things and come in with kindness and say, Hey, what's wrong? I'm listening Okay. And having some freaking empathy for yourself. Yeah, that would suck. That does suck. I hear that. Is there anything you need? It's like, no, just so not right now. Okay, cool. And then later, is there anything? Sorry, I was connecting to Wi-Fi. Maybe you're in a child's like, I need you to not hang out with that person. Okay. Can you show up for them? Because when you do, they start to trust you. It's like, damn, she got my back. He's got my back. Right? And enough of that, of listening to yourself Hearing what your inner child is asking, hearing what your soul is asking for you, from you, and then you show up, you make the brave, bold decision to show up for them, and they start trusting you a lot. And that, when it's the internal conversation of, hey, I'm here with you, and what do you need? What do you need? And if I don't show up, I have that conversation. It's like, okay, yeah, I see what you're talking about now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm working on it, you know, and have, coming from the inside out on any issue. If you be, if you're shaming, guilting, pressuring, 
just judging, judging, judging yourself. This is such a huge freaking problem. When you're judging yourself over something, you're not going to find solutions because your inner child does not feel safe with you because you're mean. You're mean. And so if we can just come at ourselves with more kindness, compassion, listening, support, love, you will solve your own problems. You don't need to listen to a podcast or read them. I mean, they're great and valuable, but your inner voice, your inner child is telling you constantly. That is why we have emotions. It's part of our decision-making. Our way to navigate life is our emotions. So if we'll notice how we feel, get curious about that and just be kind and gentle and listen and show up for what we're telling ourselves. Like it gets so easy to make choices that bring you into high vibe energy gets so much easier. So be gentle with yourself is my only, you know, I guess the hallmark of this whole thing is just be kind, be supportive, listen to yourself, love on yourself, have compassion, have empathy, ask yourself what's actually wrong. I'm here. I'm listening now. And just start there. That's it. Just freaking listen. That's the start. If you will just start listening and not try to change a damn thing, you will that you will take you so much further on the path of alignment and peace and love and joy than any sort of like pressuring yourself into fixing everything energy ever will. And that's a lesson I learned from, from being a mom. <laughs> All right, it's getting really dark, so I'm going to go. Okay, much love. Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye.